everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden and welcome to day nine in my holidays in the garden series. I cannot believe we are at day nine already. The series is flying by probably because I'm real busy and I got a lot of fun stuff to do. And that includes today where I am decorating this debacle right here where I've just completely ignored it for the past couple weeks and my window box right here. I want to get this all cleaned out and turned over for the holidays, for the winter, really for the winter season, honestly. So I got a lot of fun stuff that I'm planning to put up. I'm not totally clear on exactly what I want to do, but I do have kind of an idea. So let me show you the supplies I have. So first off, let me show you the front porch area. I do have this Norfolk pine that I got from one of my neighbors. It needs to be repotted. It's not the happiest, but I think it'll still be really pretty and it's it was free. And I always think of these as like, kind of Christmas trees. <laughs> so, um, so I have that, that I'm going to decorate. I need to take down my tapestry for fall. I need to change out my rug that I have here, you know, and then I just need to kind of do a little bit of cleanup. I don't want you to look too closely because there's like spider webs and leaves and stuff like that. I need to cut back my hosta leaves that I have here and my ostrich fern leaf more hosta leaves over here. And then, like I said, cleaning this out, I'm gonna take, like I'm gonna take this black olive hookra and put it somewhere. I'm gonna take these asters and put it somewhere. I'm just gonna toss the mums. I'm not even gonna use those. Um, yeah, I think I actually, I can't decide. I have to decide if I'm gonna leave uh, the Creeping Jenny or not with the with the other stuff that I got. I'm, I haven't decided if I think that that will look good. But let me show you what I got. Okay, so I have it over here. So first I went to a local wholesale florist. It's actually right down the street from me. And I got five bunches of magnolia leaves. I think they're so beautiful. I've never tried this before. I've never tried decorating with foliage, but I did get some of this wilt stop right here. So I'm gonna see if that works. Now it doesn't really freeze in our area. So these aren't gonna freeze. So I don't think that they're gonna last as long as they would as if you know the whole thing froze um but you know what let's try it let's see how let's see how long it goes i do know a lot of people decorate um with uh uh why am, why am I blanking on this? Garland, <laughs> cedar garland. I got three of them from Costco. My Costco had these, they were 20 bucks each. Um, and so I'm gonna put some of this over the door and then I'm also gonna put some of this, well, my plan is to put some of this in that window box. I have extra ornaments that I'm gonna decorate with if I need. These, these are shatterproof uh, snowflakes that I'm thinking about hanging from the ceiling with some of this fishing wire. I think that'll look pretty. I've showed you guys these cyclamen I got um, from Costco. So I'm gonna put those in the window box and then I have lights. So Jason has been working really hard. We've been working really hard on getting all the lights up on, you know, just kind of around the house it looks so good. It looks so, so good. The house looks so good this year. Here's what we did. So we have the icicle lights right down here, but then up above the gutters, he did the regular, um, this, I think they're called C9 lights, like the big lights. So we have big lights up here and then the icicle lights down there. And it just looks, that double layer of it just looks so, so beautiful. And then of course I have these starburst. Can you guys see that? Uh, those Starbursts, they're from Philips brand. I got them from Home Depot. I absolutely love those as well. I'll do a whole tour of the lights once we get it all totally done. We have just a couple more things to do. Um, but what I wanted to say about that is that they're all white lights. I don't have any clear light, um, colored lights. I always use white lights. One of the issues that I always run into with the white lights, the clear lights, um, is the white not matching. You know, you have warm white and you have cool white and you have clear white and they're all like a little bit different. I think you call it temperature and they all look a little bit different and that I was fighting it. I was Jason and I, we were buying different lights from all these different places and comparing them and none of them matched. None of them were the right color. And then I just had the idea, like, what if that's okay? What if it's okay that none of the white temperatures or the white colors match and we just kind of lean into the fact that they don't match so that's what we did this year and then one of my friends she stopped by and she said that she had done that before and it looked like 
you know, like a, like it was meant to be like you did it on purpose basically. And so that's kind of what we're doing with our Christmas lights this year. And I'm really, really enjoying it. One, it's a lot easier cause I don't have to stress about finding the right color of white lights, um, which is such a silly thing to stress about, but I honestly was stressing about it. And then two, it's, it's different. It's pretty, it's, like it looks kind of layered, I guess, is kind of what I want to say. So I do have lights that I'm putting um, on the garland that I'm going to put around the door right there. They're a different color of white than all the other colors that I have here, but I kind of don't care. I'm kind of leaning into it and I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. Okay, so here's my before shot. You can see the ceiling, nothing on it, nothing really going on. And then the window box. All right, so that is before, let's get decorating. It's kind of the thing where you can just mess with it and fuss with it and mess with it. And at some point you just have to say, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do any more. You know, it, I've been working really hard on not being perfect, not trying to be perfect, not getting bogged down with the little details like this doesn't match this perfectly, or this needs to be moved a little or a different size. You know, it, this is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be enjoyable. And so I'm, you know, I'm fighting that urge of perfection, but when I get past that urge and I just enjoy the process, it makes it so much more fun. So I'm saying that for you all, if any of you all are perfectionists, us, try and let it go because it's so much more enjoyable. All right, let me show you all what I, I have done so far. All right, so speaking of not perfection, I need to get blinds for my window because you all can see straight in into my cluttered garage that has all our Christmas stuff out and you know, it is, it is what it is, but that's okay. At least I have a beautiful window now instead of my old window. Uh, we replaced this window last year. It looks so much better now. Okay. So here is my window box. I absolutely love it. I think the magnolia leaves are just 
chef's kiss. They look so beautiful. I'm glad that I left this Creeping Jenny. Yes, I need to clean all this up. I'm glad I left the Creeping Jenny because I really like their chartreuse and then like, what do you, like the rust color of the magnolia leaves. And then I also left in the dark leaves of the hookra and I think it looks so beautiful. And then the cyclamen just kind of brings it all in. You can see that I planted my extra cyclamen down there and I'm just going to leave that there. That's going to be absolutely beautiful. And then pretty soon my Mrs. Tingley camellia will start blooming, probably not till after Christmas, but I am planning to leave this all winter long if the magnolia leaves will last. I really, really hope they last. I've sprayed them with wilt stop. I just don't know. I've just never done it before. So I'll be so interested to see how it does because all five bunches for everything that I got, it was only $35 from my, my local wholesale florist. So I just felt like that was a great deal. It looks beautiful and what a beautiful winter window box setup. I just, I just love it so much. So I had extra magnolia leaves, just a couple extra ones. So I came and I put them in this garland. This garland I got from Costco. I told you guys that. There's actually two of them up here. Um, and I did that on purpose because I knew I wanted it to be a little bit thicker. And then I just took the extra uh, branches of the magnolia leaves and kind of just tucked them in. I wish I had a couple more. So maybe if the magnolia leaves really do last, I'll order like seven bunches, right? And that would be, there were $7 a bunch, at, you know, at least for now. So as with the perfection, I don't like my wreath. I got those wreaths last year because I got a faux garland and it was a frosted faux garland and it looked really pretty, but now that there's no frosted, there's no um, flocked, that's what I'm trying to say. Now that there's no flocked anything, I don't think that matches very well. That's okay. I'm I was like, oh, do I go to Costco or Trader Joe's and get another wreath? Nope, I'm just gonna leave it. I think it looks totally fine. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it looks fine. So then I have my Norfolk pine. I repotted that. I think that looks really good. Um, I have my little lanterns that I filled with my extra um, ornaments. I thought that was pretty. And then I have these two birch trees that I usually have inside, but I thought it would um, I thought it would add, and I, th I thought maybe it would tie in the flocked wreath. I don't know, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and then up here, I put up all the lights. So that'll look really pretty at night. And then what I didn't have time for was hanging those, um, those snowflakes, hanging those snowflakes down from there. So hopefully I'll have time later to get that done. But if I don't, that's okay. I am totally happy with this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to come out here, you know, and just decorate. Just have fun with it. I enjoyed myself. I had a good time. And if you get anything from this video, remember, don't, don't aim for perfection. <laughs> and I'm saying this to you all as I'm saying it to myself. It's not worth it. It's not, it's just not as much fun if you just make it try and be perfect. Just have a lot of fun with it. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I will see you tomorrow for day 10 of my holidays in the garden series. And I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.